Well, it's an image that has burned into people's memories, and police are still trying to get to the bottom of it. It has been a year since the grandstand at Tink Larson Field in Waseca burned down. Police believe someone intentionally set the fire. Yesterday, they announced a $10,000 reward for information that leads to an arrest and prosecution. But the players on the Waseca varsity team aren't worried about the investigation. Today is their home opener. Our Jeff Wagner explains why playing on their home field means so much to them. Infield in. Spring is in the air in Waseca. Ready? And so is baseball. You know, in 22 years, I think I had three windows busted out. And from his home, you know, it's part of the game. Dan Doms has quite the view of Tink Larson Field. We got the scoreboard, and I can see the pitcher. But it's what he can't see. All the time, I reminisce. You know what it was that he misses the most. Went up, went up in flames. I mean, I started crying. I mean, everybody did. Police suspect the grandstand fire a year ago was arson, but still no hits on any leads. Even if it was, it's to the point where uh, we just got to move on. Steel bleachers now fill the old spot, as well as a row of original seats. And as grateful as we are to have the seating that we do and the backs up that we do. Um, this field deserves better. And it should get better, since there's a plan in place to build a new grandstand. I think it's nice to know that there, this town has commitment, that baseball is important, and we want to keep the, in a way, the memory alive. It's a better future for America's pastime in this loyal baseball town. All right, four on three. One, two, three, four! Jeff Wagner, WCCO 4 News. Uh, the plan to uh, build a new grandstand still needs more funding. The project costs $1.8 million. Insurance and city support will pay for part of it, but the uh, majority is going to have to come from donations. If you're interested in helping out, you can find the uh, link attached to this story on WCCO.com.